Hello, one and all. In this one, we're going to take a look at finding the least common multiple of x squared minus 25 and 2x squared minus 11x plus 5. That's just a lot of factorization. Again, the least common multiple of those two. So first, I'm going to factor that as x squared minus 5 squared because it's a difference of squares then, which then factors into x minus 5 times x plus 5. So this expression up here represents the first factored form of the binomial there. Now we just have to go and factor the trinomial also the same way. So let's go through that process. So first I'm going to rewrite it as 2x squared minus 10x minus 1x plus 5. So in other words, I'm rewriting the negative 11x as negative 10x minus 1. Why would I do that? Because then it allows me to factor with grouping. So let's continue with that process. First what I'm going to do is I'm going to write that as 2x times x. I'm rewriting 2x squared as 2 times x times x. Notice that the 2x is in red. I'm going to rewrite the negative 10x as negative 5 times 2 times x. Notice that there's a 2x in red present on either side of that negative. That tells me that 2x is a common factor between those two terms. That's why I've rewritten it this way. Let's also look at the negative 1x. You can't do anything with that. That's about as simple as you can make negative 1x. But what about the 5? So I put across the top. Over here, as you can see, the question is, is negative 1 and 5, what do they have in common? doesn't seem like anything, correct? But they do. The way to see that is as follows. We write that positive 5 as negative 5 times negative 1. Why would I do that? Because now, look, the negative 1s are clearly indicated as a common factor between negative 1x and negative 5 times negative 1. And I can do that simply because negative 5 times negative 1 would give back the positive 5. So this is all just understanding how to use basic signs, if you think about it. Let's continue with the process. So next I'm going to factor. I'm going to pull the 2x in red out. What will be left over will be x minus 5 in black, just the way you see it. And then from the next one, I'm going to pull negative 1, that negative 1 in blue out. What will be left over in that one will be also x minus 5. Okay. Now, as you can see, x minus 5 is a common factor. So let's put these together. It's going to be the following here. So 2x minus 1 times x minus 5, that's the factored form of the trinomial, do the following. This is the key fundamental concept. Take each factor the greatest, the greatest number of times it occurs in either factorization. So for the x minus 5, as you can see, that is present over here in 2x minus 1 times x minus 5. But as you can see, it's also present there in that one above my head. Well, it occurs once in either one of them. So take it one time down below. Okay, just write it down as one time once. Okay, then you look at the next part, which is x plus 5. As you can see, this factorization has x plus 5, but this one over here doesn't have x plus 5. So the greatest number of x plus 5 binomials that you see is once. So down below, I'm going to put it down one time. X plus, x plus 5, one time for that reason. Lastly, the 2x minus 1 that you see there, the greatest number of times it occurs is only once also in the bottom factorization. So that's going to be 2x minus 1 taken one time. So you've identified those factors, and now to form the LCM, the least common multiple, just multiply them together. So it's going to look like this at the last step. The LCM is simply the product of all of these. So it's x minus 5 times x plus 5 times 2x minus 1, just the way you see it here. And that is it for me. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this has been helpful. Please give a like and subscribe, and I will see you in another video.